Simon de Montfort led an army of rebellious barons into battle against forces loyal to Henry III. The Battle of Lewis was a decisive victory for de Montfort. Among those captured were the King himself, Prince Edward, and Richard of Cornwall, Henry's brother and King of the Germans. De Montfort used his victory to establish a government based on the 1258 provisions of Oxford. While Henry retained the title and authority of King, all decisions now rested with his council, led by de Montfort, and subject to consultation with Parliament. In all but name, Simon de Montfort was King of England. De Montfort invited each county to send two representatives to Parliament, as Henry had done in 1254. However, in a new development, de Montfort also invited a select group of borough towns. This was the first time that towns, important centres of commerce, were represented in Parliament. While significant at the time in making Parliament more representative and expanding de Montfort's base of support, we should not overstate the importance of his reforms. Power was still concentrated at the top of society, and representatives of the boroughs were not regularly invited to Parliament until the 14th century. And even then, a future king would need to lose his head before Parliament itself would be regularly called and its rights firmly established.